Hi, my name is Bill Calhoun and this is Keith Munamitsu. We're part of a small group of saltwater fly fishermen in Southern California that are targeting, targeting calico bass. And the problem that we're trying to overcome is to getting our lines down to the big fish which are deeper in the water column. Uh, for the past six months, we've been experimenting with much heavier shooting heads and lines that we've been integrating together and coming up with some very good results. Now, last week we posted a video on YouTube and on Facebook um, kind of posing a question to you guys about, um, you know, are there other people out there actually doing this and, and can we compare notes? So, one of the biggest things that we heard through all of your comments that we truly, truly appreciate is I think that there's a lot of skepticism around the fact that can we actually cast an 830, 960 grain line and... I was skeptical. <laughs> he was skeptical in the beginning. And, and when I started this exercise back in April of this year, I, I reached out to some of the professionals in the fly fishing community and they said, and I posed the question, can we cast a 900 grain line on a 10 weight rod? And, and the, the resounding answer was no, you can't. It's, it's, just physically not possible and you'll probably break the rod. In casting these very heavy lines, uh, we're looking at certain characteristics or we're looking for certain characteristics in the rods that we're using. And what was kind of unbelievable to me was the fact that we we're able to cast 830 grain, 900 grain lines on a 10 weight rod. You know, a long time ago I used to cast up to 1000 grain lines, but it took a 14 weight rod and after 12 casts, I'd have to sit down and take a rest. So because of the new technology and performance in these rods and lines now, uh, we're able to do much greater things. So the characteristics that we're looking for in a rod is obviously it needs to have a lot of power to deal with that heavy line, but it also needs a lot of backbone uh, to pull big calico bass out of really heavy structured areas. The other thing that we're looking for is line speed. Uh, it needs to produce a lot of line speed for those long distance casts. And also, we're really looking for something light because these are heavier lines and bigger rods. We want a, lot, uh, a rod that's lighter so we don't get tired throughout the day. So um, in the rods that we've tried, the Sage rods, the Orvis rods, and the Hardy rods, uh, the Sage TCX 10 weight rod has actually been the most powerful, fastest rod. But it, it, because it, the leverage point is higher up in the rod itself, it uh, feels a little heavier when you're casting it and it takes a little bit more work from you. Also, uh, it produces such a fast line speed that if you're off your game at all, uh, it makes it a little bit more critical. Your timing needs to be a little more critical. So you're thinking a little more with this rod. The other rod that I like, in fact, I think out of all the rods for me, the uh, Sage XI3 10 weight was the perfect balance of everything. It uh, bends a little bit lower down in the rod gives me a little bit more contact and feel and a more honest feel of what I'm doing, yet still produces the line speed that I like. The other difference between the two rods is this has a bigger stripping guide to it, a larger stripping guide, and allows uh, for less friction as the line's going through that. And that, that's great for shooting lots of line. Keith here uses the Orvis rods and the Hardy, uh, the Hardy Centrex rods. This is the, the Orvis um, Helios uh, 10 weight in a four piece and the reason why I chose this rod initially is, is purely because of the strength to weight ratio. This is an extremely light rod, it's only 3.5 ounces um, but it, it, it definitely loads the 830 and the 900 grain line very evenly and you it, it loads farther down into the butt section but it still it gives you the ability to maintain control of that heavy line. So. You're not punching through the wind like you would with a faster action rod like the Sage XI3 and the TCX. However, you're you're able to be more, more accurate. accurate. Yeah, when casting in in tighter uh, quarters, um, I can put it next to a boiler rock, right down a, a kelp stringer, and uh, this this rod gives me the ability and the confidence to do that. Um, one of the biggest revelations for me personally in this whole experiment over the last six months is that. Um, I tested initially the Hardy Centrex Pro Axis, um, 11 weight, but in the one piece rod. And one of the major problems that we were having um, initially with, with our rods were, is that when you cast 
a super heavy line, like an 800 or, or, or greater grain uh, line, is that the ferrules were starting to twist on us and pulling apart. Too much torque. Too much torque, and we, we actually broke a few rods, and you had to constantly sit there and, and, and make sure that your, the furl sections were, were nice and tight and even. So the one piece rod really... Um, you don't have to think about it. You really don't have to think about it because it's, it's one piece, nothing's going to be twisting and turning, and it's a lot lighter rod. What I like about this 11 weight is that it doesn't have the furls, so it does actually soften up the action a little bit. Um, and it loads that heavy line really nice, but still has enough power to punch through almost all kinds of wind. Now the drawback of having a one-piece rod is if that's your only 10-weight rod, it's pretty difficult to travel with. And the way you can combat that with a four-piece travel rod is by using electrical tape and twisting the electrical tape tightly around the ferrules, both sides of the ferrules. And that tends to keep those secure enough to fish throughout the day. Instead of sitting here and talking about this, what we'd like to do is actually show you casting out on the field so everybody will actually believe that we're able to cast an 830 grain line on a 10 weight rod. Okay, so for the non-believers out there that, don't, that aren't believing that we're uh, able to cast these real heavy lines on 10 weight rods, what I have here is a 980 grain line on a 10 weight TCX. So I also got a pretty mean headwind and a big fly. So I'll just do a couple casts here just to demonstrate that it is not impossible. That's probably an 80 foot cast and if I had the right wind and I'm in the boat and I have a uh, left or right wind, that would have been a 100 foot cast. Okay, it's, uh, it's not that difficult to cast these lines. I think the problem is most people are actually sort of scared to try them. They really don't believe it can be done. So I say kind of step out of the box, give it a go, be a little adventurous and give these heavy lines a try. You'll be a different fisherman for it. You're kidding, you're kidding me. <laughs> you're making me laugh. Well, that's good. I mean, honestly, our mission is is that we're we're out there trying to solve this problem. We're out in the field. We're going to the island. We're testing these lines, and we're we're like little Santa's little elves. We're in here making lines. We've made hundreds of lines, splicing them together. It's crazy, but it's our mission to show you guys exactly what we're doing and the successes, and and more importantly, the failures. I wouldn't say failures, but. The, the directional changes that we've had that have led us to this spot. Right now we're catching on an average higher quality fish. Much on, bigger fish. On a consistent basis and we relate it to these experiments and to these heavier lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to release a series of videos so you guys can see exactly what we're doing. And we would appreciate your continued input on our Facebook page facebook.com forward slash the Calico Syndicate and we can use that as a hub of discussion and we will continue to update you guys on what we're doing and and how we're gonna uh, and how we're gonna solve and what <laughs> and how we're gonna catch a world record <laughs> yeah, yeah, calico yeah. bass yeah. right yeah. in your <laughs> <laughs> that was good though dude. you were rolling with that you were rolling with that you just <laughs> So from Southern California, we thank you, and we appreciate all of your continued support and input on our Facebook fan page. Thanks a lot for your help. All right, Keith, try that thousand grain line on that rod. It works really well. It's money. <laughs> ah, nice, Keith. <laughs> <laughs>